two astronauts who traveled to the International Space Station on the Boeing Starliner test flight in June will remain in orbit. They were supposed to return several days later, but NASA scrapped those plans over a number of safety concerns. Investigative reporter Cheryl Mercedes is following the crew's return. It's been a long summer, not just for the astronauts, but for NASA engineers and leaders tasked with deciding whether or not to return the Starliner back to Earth unmanned. They said a week ago, that decision became clear. NASA has decided that Butch and Sonny will return with Crew 9 next February. NASA Administrator Senator Bill Nelson disclosed plans on Saturday that would result in Starliner Commander Butch Wilmore and pilot Sonny Williams remaining in orbit for several months longer. The decision came after weeks of debate by NASA engineers over the Starliner's ability to safely carry its crew back to Earth. There was just too much uncertainty in the prediction of the thrusters. If we had a model, if we had a way to accurately predict uh, what the thrusters would do for the undock and all the way through the deorbit burn and through the separation sequence, I think we would have taken a different course of action. NASA leaders said the decision to return the Starliner unmanned was unanimous. Senator Nelson, who was a member of the congressional committee that investigated the space shuttle Challenger accident, said any other option would have been too risky. It is a trying to turn around the culture that first led to the loss of Challenger and then led to the loss of Columbia, where obvious mistakes were not being brought forth. The decision impacts NASA's Crew-9 mission, which is set to launch in September. It will now include a two-member crew instead of four to free up two seats for Wilmar and Williams on the return home. Spaceflight is hard. The margins are thin. The space environment is not forgiving. And we have to be right. NASA says it plans to announce next week plans to return the uncrewed Starliner back to Earth. As for its future with Boeing, officials say they are 100% committed to working with the company on future missions. Cheryl, thank you. Boeing was not at today's news conference, but did release a statement this afternoon saying in part, we are executing the mission as determined by NASA and we are preparing the spacecraft for a safe and successful uncrewed return.